Good evening, Prospect High School. I'm Paul Pinza, the proud principal of Prospect High. Welcome to the broadcast of our annual Grand Awards Ceremony, celebrating the class of 2020. And yes, this is a celebration because all the students who will be recognized tonight have worked extremely hard for their entire academic careers. We'll be honoring students who have set the highest bar for themselves, and time and again, they continue to surpass expectations. We'll also honor students who haven't always had a history of success in school, but during their time at Prospect, they discovered their passion, turned it into a purpose, and put in the work needed to stand out from the crowd. In fact, you'll hear the names of 116 different students in this video, almost a third out of all our seniors. But in this moment, we are truly celebrating the success, the resilience, the determination, and the awesome power of everyone in the class of 2020. I want every single senior and all of their loved ones to know that we still see you. We see your heart. We see the high standards that you set for yourselves. We see how much you care for each other. And we see the big dreams that you all have for the years to come. Tonight, I am deeply honored to bring you this Grand Awards tribute to the Class of 2020. And I hope everyone watching can see all the success, the hard work, and the inspiration that we've been able to watch for the past four years. Hello, this is Mrs. Aginiga. I'm here to present the Top Scholar Award. It is prospect tradition that in lieu of a single valedictorian, we recognize members of the senior class because so many of our students achieve a 4.0 and above GPA. This recognition is based on the weighted GPA from grades 10 through 12, not including this final semester. This year, we have 55 seniors to recognize. Our top scholars are Shreya Argarwal, Faria Ahmed, Radha Ambe, Nathaniel Bailey, Rahini Banerjee, Anarud Bawadwaj, Joshua Boyk, Camille Boiteau, Maya Chitrati, Jarina Chen, Kyle Chewy, Christopher Dam, Alex Gaither, Jason Gong, Nishka Govill, James Huang, Jennifer Hugo, Ashton Kwan, Brian LeBlanc, Casey Lay, Natalie Leong, Nikki Ma, Ivan Martinson, Alice Matthews, Hannah Meck, Adrian Moore, Tact Nagano, Rena Nakamoto. Now, Ms. Subaba will read the winners with the last names O to Z. Hey, class of 2020, I'm going to read Top Scholars' last names O through Z. Nicole Obradovic, Tracy Ogino, Ashley O, Derek Oriana, Therese Perot, Justin Pong, Jackson Prudhomme, Michael Rimboim, John Wrench, Alicia Sanoika, Katie Seam, Kalyani Session, Athena Sharavi, Ofek Shoichet, Maida Suta, Isabel Zukal, Kai Wen Tang, Allison Taylor, Akshay Thakur, Siobhan Tawari, Hui Tran, Tui Nung Van, Trevor Williams, Gibra Winovsky, Kave Zahirul Islam, and Bo Chuan Zhang. Congratulations, top scholars. And now I get to announce the top scholars who achieved at the highest level possible. 
out of those 55 seniors that you just heard, eight of them have had straight A's across all four years at Prospect. And those incredible achievers are Shreya Agarwal, Jorina Chen, Kyle Chui, Nishka Govil, Adrian Moore, Jackson Prudhon, Alicia Sanoika, and Akshay Thakur. These eight seniors will have their names engraved on a perpetual plaque which will be displayed on campus once we reopen. Congratulations to all of them. A truly remarkable achievement. The Sealed Up by Literacy is an award given by the school in recognition of the students who have studied and attained proficiency in two or more world languages by their high school graduation. Additionally, the students have earned a 2.0 GPA or higher in their English classes throughout high school and tested proficient on or higher on the English portion of the SBAC test. One Golden Bull Seal will be provided for each qualifying graduate and placed on their diploma. This year's recipients are Shreya Argual, Briseida Alvarez Arana, Rohini Bernergi, Camille Boitex, Jacqueline Burgara, Lucelena Cabrera, Charlene Candelario España, Alexa Cárdenas, Jarina Chen, Kyle Chui, Jonathan Cosme Sanchez, Aman Doraje, Natalie Elias, Jasbel Flores Moreno, Nishka Govil, Deborah Guevara Mendoza, Sarah Hazer, Jasmine Jimenez Barragan, Anastasia Kalanick, Casey Lee, Nikki Ma, Maritza Martinez Mendoza, Savannah Masin, Hannah Meck, Brianna Mendoza Avalos, Adrian Moore, Tak Nagano, Shuhi Nakai, Rina Nakamoto, Olivia Nolin, Nicole Obradovic, Tracy Ogino, Derek Orellana, Therese Perel, Jackson Prudhon, Alicia Sinoika, Kailani Sishan, Yehin Sun, Maida Suta, Kaiwen Tong, Ellie Thomas, Su Shi Zeng, Tui Nong Ben, Kelly Vung, Yumi Wasteman, Kaveh Sahiloslam, Rubel Salaya, Rebecca Saltko, Bakwan Zhang. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2020. Hi, I'm Mrs. Grewal and I'm here to present the Leadership Award. The Prospect Administrative Team determines this for a student who has shown spectacular leadership on campus. This award goes to an outstanding senior who best exemplifies the qualities of self-development, leadership, and concern for others, and devotion to the school. The senior takes home a plaque with their names engraved on a perpetual plaque, which will be displayed in the main office. This year's recipients for the Leadership Award are Camille Boto and Bo Chan Zhang. And let me say a few words about them. Camille. Well, Camille perfectly embodies leadership. She has the willingness to roll up her sleeves and work, the grace to follow others' lead, and the confidence to be kind while inspiring others to follow. Camille is an individual with humanitarian values. She regularly attends the Tzitsu Chi Chinese School that she started in first grade. There, Camille has learned about children suffering in the third world countries and the problems they face. And this has really influ influenced her path. And she says, it has shaped me who I am today by allowing me to recognize the privilege I have in this world and what I can do to help others. Camille one day hopes to create an academic app that has mental health features incorporated into it through artificial intelligence. 
Camille has been a member of the AP Ambassadors Program, helping and tutoring students during lunch. Camille has been involved in the Key Club and has provided her the opportunity to lead and organize many fundraisers for medical charities, volunteering at hospitals, service projects, organizing the Chico fire relief donation for blankets, and actually going, going up to Chico to deliver them. This is also including getting the District Tree, Tree Award for fundraising $5,000 for pediatric trauma program and $3,000 for maternal neonatal programs. Camille is fluent in reading, writing, and speaking four languages fluently, and those are Mandarin, French, English, and Ta Taiwanese, which certainly will be an asset in international business. And if this was not enough, Camille also plays the flute and piano. Camille is bubbly, determined, but what has really impressed me the most about Camille's time at Prospect has been her unrelenting, tireless curiosity. She eagerly wants to know her peers, genuinely wants to master subject matter in classes, and authentically wants to positively influence her community. Prospect is sure Camille will make a difference in the world as she heads off to Cal Poly, San Luis Obispo, and congratulations to Camille. And now Bochan. Bochan is a remarkable student and leader, not only for his outstanding academic achievements, but for his patience and care for others. The success of many student outreach programs at Prospect are due to Bochan's tenacity to serve others. Bochan has expanded Mesa, Mesa membership and organized tutoring structures in such a way that there will be more tutors available for handling small groups. Even with his tough academic schedule, he has found the time to tutor or support classmates, thus nurturing a positive school climate where all students feel valued and have access to resources. Bochan has promoted STEM classes, AP classes, AP Info Nights, as well as helping lead the fundraising endeavors for all these programs. Bochan has also started the F equals MA competition to challenge students who are taking advanced classes. Students often go to Bochan when they need help in a class, and he's always seeking opportunities to lend a hand. He works equally well with students in Kelpless as well as students in IM1. Ms. Schoenair recalls, a study session for AP Calculus students one afternoon, and Bochan showed up and spent a couple of hours working with the students. The next day, when the students were to take the test, he came by to wish everyone luck and give them a last minute encouragement. Even during the school closure, Bochan has stepped up. He, along with other members of the Mesa Club, organized an online meeting with AP students in math and science to help them prepare for the AP exams. He did all of this without being asked. He did it because he wanted to and cared for his fellow students. It is just impressive and everyone is amazed with Bochan's ability to jump into any task assigned and get his hands dirty. In groups, he works equally as well as a leader or, or, as, or as an equal teammate. He does not have an ego that gets in his way. He is kind, clear, humble, passionate and courageous with the tasks he takes on, which are certainly the qualities of a great leader. Prospect is sure Bochan will make a difference in the world as he heads off to MIT. Congratulations to Bochan. And again, once again, congratulations to Camille and Bochan. Next, I'm going to talk about uh, students who are recognized through the National Merit Scholarship Program. Uh, of the 1.6 million juniors in this country who take the PSAT and the National Merit Scholarship Qualifying Test each year, approximately 50,000 of those juniors with the highest PSAT Selection Index scores qualify for recognition in the National Merit Program. 50,000 out of 1.6 million. That represents approximately the top 3% of all 11th grade students who took the test across the country. So for reaching this milestone, students are recognized in their senior year by receiving letters of commendation from the College Board. Last year was the first year for this commendation and the class of 2019 had 11 students who were recognized. 
This year, we have 20 seniors who have earned the National Merit Commendation. And they are Rada Ambe, Rohini Banerjee, Elliot Cha, Maya Chatrati, Kyle Chui, Jason Gong, Niksha Govil, Christine Hodak, Casey Lee, Ivan Martinson, Adrian Moore, Shuji Nakai, Therese Perot, Alicia Sanoika, Keilani Seshan, Athena Shiravi, Wee Tran, and Gabriel Wernowski. Congratulations to all those National Merit commended students. Now, given the fact that these students scored in the top 3% across all sections of the PSAT, including the math, they probably figured out that I promised you 20 names, but so far I've only read 18. That's because two prospect seniors qualified as finalists in the National Merit Scholarship Program, placing them among the top 1% of all seniors in the entire country. So I'm pleased to announce Prospect High School's National Merit finalists from the class of 2020. And they are Shreya Agarwal and Akshay Thakur. Congratulations to all of these tremendous students. What an impressive achievement. Hi, I'm Mrs. Gray Wallet, and I'm here to present President's Award for Educational Excellence. All of these students have made academics a priority. They receive an embossed gold seal certificate signed by President Donald Trump for maintaining an academic GPA greater than 3.5 and scoring four on ASVAC in both English and math. In Prospect's case, we are honoring over 70 students. These students are Shreya Agarwal, Freya Ahmed, Radha Ambe, Katen Bagadi, Rohini Benerjee, Raquel Bowman, Brandon Batista, Joshua Boki, Camille Boto, Elliot Cha, Maya Chatari, Jarina Chen, Rina Chang, Bowden Christie, Carl Chui, Christopher Dang, Kristen Dang, Aman Doraje, Alex Gaither, Jason Kong, Nishka Govil. James Hong, Franklin Hughes, Jennifer Hugo, Bojan Jang, Jordan Johnson, Jean V. Kulkarni, Ashton Kwan, Brian LaBlanc, Daniel Lee, Casey Lay, Natalie Long, Natalie Lim, Gabriella Lomax, Nikki Ma, Ivan Martison, Parmes Mohar, Adrian Moore, Brian Murch, Takat Nagano, Rina Nakamatoa, Jonathan Naduba, Kylie Nguyen, Nicole Obradovich, Tracy Ugino, Ashley Ho, Tai Pan, Teresa Pro, Vladimir Plyhusen, Justin Pong, Jackson Proudhon, Michael Rimbo, Alicia Sonoka, David Sarte, KDCM, Kalyani Session, Raina Sheftman, Athena Sharavi, Ofek Shoshet, Maida Suta, Isabel Zakel, 
Kai Wen Tang, Akshay Tucker, Desmond Tang, Shivam Tavari, Hui Tran, Andrew Trong, Tui Nun Nguyen, Haley Wasilewski, Yumi Weisman, Trevor Williams, Gabriella Wernoski, Sean Worley, Jonathan Yang, Rebecca Zel Zelko, and Bo Chan Zhang. So, sorry if I've mispronounced your names, but congratulations to this year's President's Award for, excellent, for Educational Excellence. Uh, I'm going to start with the Cully R. Plant Scholarship. Uh, which is awarded on behalf of Cully Plant, a former teacher in the district. Cully Plant was a home economics teacher for most of her career. English was added to Cully's credential when she transferred to Branham approximately two to three years before her retirement. She served 29 years as a dedicated employee of the Campbell Union High School District. After retirement, she began to substitute to keep, and she kept substituting until she passed away. She did this not because she had to, but because she truly loved the students in this district, and she considered this district her home. As a substitute, she would always bring a small potted plant into the classroom and place it on the teacher's desk. This was her hallmark every time she walked into a new classroom, and it reminded students what her name was. She also drove a flashy Porsche convertible to work every day. Uh, and most people did not realize at the time that uh, she had been very fortunate with her finances. And so upon her passing, she left a large sum of money to the Campbell Union High School District and dedicated it specifically to scholarships for students. So to date, this scholarship has uh, yielded thousands of dollars in awards to students heading off to college, and the fund will continue to provide those scholarships for many years to come. So selection for these scholarships is always based on academics, service to prospect and the community, as well as achieving individual goals and financial need. So with all that under consideration, uh, this year's recipients will receive $2,500 each, and I am proud to announce that the winners of the Cully R. Plant Scholarships for 2020 are Nathan Angelo and Hannah Meck. Congratulations to you both. Reading for the Saratoga Rotary Scholarship. The Saratoga Rotary is part of the Rotary International an organization of over 1.2 million members worldwide with 35,000 clubs in over 200 countries. The clubs aim to create a positive, lasting change in our local communities and around the world. Their commitment to service is ongoing. One of the Rotary's avenues of service is youth service. Saratoga Rotary has an active youth service group which supports leadership conferences for students and members of high school interact clubs including the club at Prospect. They also conduct an annual speech contest, perform outreach activities to support education in local schools, and present scholarships to students who exemplify the service above self motto. Today Rotary honors eight students who not only are amazing scholars, but who make a difference for others. This year's winners of the Saratoga Rotary Thompson Scholarship were selected because of their demonstrated leadership abilities, school and community service, extracurricular activities, and academic success. They, like others in the class of 2020, have demonstrated great perseverance and resilience during their school year like no other. These qualities will serve you well after graduation. Saratoga Rotary is proud to recognize the 2020 Thompson Recognition Scholarship recipients who are 
Nathaniel Bailey, Canel Boitois, Alana De, De Graffin Wright, Nicole Abradovich, Michael Rumbaum, John Wrench, Akshay Thacker, and Gabriel Bernowski. Whoa, another outfit change because I've got an another scholarship to announce. And this one comes from the Xilinx Corporation, a local Silicon Valley corporation that's been instrumental in funding the establishment of Project Lead the Way engineering classes across the Campbell Union High School District. And the Xilinx Corporation has also generously donated money every year to seniors in our district who are planning to attend San Jose State University, go Spartans, uh, specifically to study uh, STEM-related fields, uh, fields relating to science, technology, engineering, or math. So I'm very proud to announce that our three award winners from Prospect this year will share a total of $5,000 in scholarships. And those winners for the 2020 Xilinx Scholarship are Natalie Lung, Mark Andrew Saludo, and Andrew Trong. Congratulations to all three of you for your Xilinx Scholarships. Hello, Prospect. My name is Kathy Watson Short, and I am the Prospect PTSA President. I am here to honor five seniors that have won the PTSA Scholarship Award. These seniors will re receive $500 in scholarship money. Seniors that win this award are students that take advantage of the academics and the extracurriculars that Prospect have to has to offer. They also get involved in their community and give back to their community. And so this year, I am very honored to award these scholarships to these five students. Amy No, Miriam Bianca Pineda, Brian LeBlanc, Rohini Banerjee, and Katie Seam. Congratulations, seniors. The Nia Song Hee Memorial Scholarship was created so that students with a passion for photography could continue to learn and grow as artists. I am so pleased to announce that the 2020 recipient of the Nia Song Hee Award is Wu Jin Jang. Wu Jin, you are such a talented artist and your photographs capture life in a way that few people are able to. You're the reason that our yearbook was so dynamically and visually appealing this year. I really hope that you pursue this talent that you have because it's one that the world needs to see. I am so proud of you. Congratulations. Hi, Prospect High School seniors, faculty, and families. My name is Maggie Church and I am from the Country Women's Club of Campbell. We were founded in 1905 by a small group of women interested in fellowship, aiding our community, and educational projects. We were instrumental in opening the Campbell Library in 1975. Our club recognizes young talent and the major portion of our fundraising efforts goes to scholarships to students of the Campbell Union High School District as well as the music and art shows. We recognize students for their leadership, community service, and financial need. This year, we are giving out $17,000 to 16 students in our five Campbell Union High Schools. I am proud to say that we have three students from Prospect High School receiving awards. From the Campbell Country Women's Club, I would like to recognize these three students. Our first one is Maria Castillo, Samantha Talent, and Deborah Guevara Mendoza. Each student will receive $1,000 to pursue their education. Congratulations, ladies, and have a great summer. 
My name is Stuart Sampson. Uh, I'm the scholarship chairman for the Santa Clara Elks Lodge. Each year, the Elks National Foundation conducts a scholarship contest for high school seniors. This contest is judged at the local, district, state, and national levels. The judging criteria are academics, leadership, and financial need. This year, 148 students applied for the contest in our district, which encompasses the counties of Santa Clara, Santa Cruz, Monterey, and San Benito. One of these students was from Prospect High. Of these 48, or 148, 13 were selected as state finalists. And I'm very happy to report that the student from Prospect was among these 13. She has qualified for an $800 scholarship from the California Hawaii Elks Association. Congratulations go to Rohini Banerjee. Rohini, the Santa Clara Elks wish you the greatest success in your college endeavors starting this fall. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mr. Chan, and I'm the CSF Call Advisor at Prospect High School. The main idea of the California Scholarship Federation, CSF, is for a statewide organization to honor outstanding high school students. It emphasizes high standards of service, scholarship, and citizenship for California high school students. CSF encourages service to the school and community while fostering pride in scholastic achievement. In order to qualify for the life membership, there are seniors that have at least four semesters of their membership in their last three years of high school. Today, it's an honor to present the CSF life membership to the following students, not in particular order. Maya Charathi, Shreya Agarwal, Nikki Ma, Parmese Mogarab, Aman Doraji, Akshay Thagar, Alicia Sanoika, Hannah Mack, Ashley O, Kyle Chu, Tui Nam Ben, Dasman Thang, Nathaniel Bailey, Nishika Govell, Kayani Seishan, Jonathan Yuan, Iliana Jasso, Kaiwen Tang, Jorina Chan, Connor Kennisberg, Kamel Boitu, Tracy Ogino, Katie Sim, John Roange, Adrian Moore, Casey Lay, Jason Gong, Shivan Tiwari, Kelly Vaughn, Maya Kaskar, and Daniel Lee. CSF Service Scholarship. It's an honor to present the CSF Service Scholarship to the following students. They are CSF Life members who have maintained active club membership throughout their high school years. Their service work have exemplified the CSF model, scholars for service in all of the following areas. The school environment, leadership, our CSF chapter, and the most important one is their service to community. Each one of the students is awarded a $500 scholarship. They are Shreya Agarwal, Alicia Sanoika, Katie Sain, Shivan Tiwari. Congratulations to all of them. Thank you. Thank you for watching tonight's Grand Awards. It's such an honor and a privilege to be able to recognize these outstanding seniors. The College and Career Center has a couple clubs that have been instrumental in, in the functionality of our organization. And the first club that I would like to recognize is the College and Career Center Ambassadors. These seniors have already served two years as ambassadors 
and have been instrumental as liaisons with the entire student body. They attend events, they promote events, they, they do student outreach, and um, they also act as experts in college and career so that every student has the opportunity to ask questions because sometimes it's easier to ask a peer than maybe an adult you don't feel comfortable talking to. So I would like to give a heartfelt thanks to the following nine seniors. Camille Boiteau, Maya Chatterjee, Nishka Govel, Eliana Jasso, Maya Keskar, Nicole Obradovic, John Wrench, Katie Seam, and Akshay Thakur. Thank you so much. You will forever have a special place in my heart and I am so honored to know you. The other club that the College and Career Center would like to honor and recognize is the Click Club. So the Click Club actually stands for Careers, Leaders, Interviews, and Knowledge. And this club has been amazing. For the last three years, these seniors have organized every career talk. And not only have they organized the career talk, they have asked the students, what kind of careers are you interested in? And so our career talks have grown exponentially because we are bringing professionals that are that our students are interested in. So I would like to give a special thanks to the following three seniors. Nishka Govel, Maya Chatterjee, Kaliana Seshan. Thank you so much for your wisdom and your service and um, your ingenuity. It has been much appreciated. The following award is very close to my heart. Is In fact, it's called the um, College and Career Center Heart Award. This was a um, unique year, to say the least, and um, it's hard to think of just one senior who, who would solely earn this award. I have to give this entire award, this award to the entire senior class. All of your names are on here. And the reason why I decided to honor the entire class of 2020, the Heart Award, is because each of you throughout the year, not just the last seven weeks, have been amazing. You, you have um, been thoughtful of each other. You have been um, kind. You have been curious, you have been so attuned to where you are going and what your place is in the world that it has impressed me beyond measure. And this, I was impressed at the beginning of the school year, not just the last seven weeks, but in the last seven weeks, I have seen so much selflessness and so much attention to um, your family, so much thought into how you're going to plan your future, and a lot of humility about um, where you are in, um, in the world and how you can contribute to it. So you have earned the Heart Award, each and every one of you, and um, I continue to be impressed by your class and um, I look forward to hearing about your continued success, your, your continued adventures and um, thank you so much for, for the privilege of knowing you. Happy Grand Awards everybody. We have two fantastic artists today to talk about. Jorina Chen, she's been an artist at Prospect taking classes for years. She's in AP art right now. And let me tell you, her paintings are off the chart. She's so talented. She organized to open up the AP class 
and she has been so successful. Everything she does, she puts everything into. We also have Megan Liu. Her ceramics is outrageous. Look at those koi fish, the detail, the colors. I love the glazing. When I saw this piece, I knew she was somebody that was going to continue on with the field of art because she put so much care into it. And it is so incredibly amazing to see. Congratulations, both of you, Jorina and Megan. Good evening. Thank you all for viewing our video tonight to honor all our wonderful seniors in this challenging time. As the athletic director, I have missed seeing our teams and individuals perform this spring, but I've enjoyed seeing many throughout the year and hearing from many as this shelter in place continues. I'm here tonight to give out awards to six different recipients. I will start with our Scholar Athlete Award, which is given out by Panther Paws. Panther Paws is awarding the winner a plaque and a $250 check, which will be given out to these two seniors in the next few weeks. This award is given to one male and one female student that have played sports during their days at Prospect while also holding on to some very impressive GPAs. Our first recipient was a two-sport athlete competing in cross country and track over the course of seven different seasons. She has been an all-league runner all four years and has been a captain as well. She has an outstanding GPA and is a tremendous individual. This year's female recipient is Camille Oito. Our male recipient has been a two-sport athlete for all four years playing both football and as a member of the swim team. He has been a team captain and an all-league football player. His GPA was off the charts and is a positive leader. This year's male recipient is Gabriel Warnowski. Congratulations to Gabriel and Camille for their Scholar Athlete Awards. The next award that I'm giving out is our Athlete of the Year. This award is voted on by all of the varsity coaches here at Prospect. We had some very close voting this year. Our female recipient was a two-sport athlete for three of four years um, in tennis and track and is best known for her amazing performances and records on the tennis court. She was the number one tennis player in the Mount Hamilton division and through her four years she compiled a record of 50 and 2 in the regular season. She was a huge reason for the success of the girls tennis team. This year's Athlete of the Year goes to Nicole Oberdovic. Our male recipient was also a two-sport athlete competing in both basketball and swimming. While he is talented as a basketball player, this young man was breaking school records in the swimming pool and advancing to CCS and the state meets. He broke a record that stood for almost 40 years here at Prospect. He was the king of the pool, and our male athlete of the year is Alex Coratori. Congratulations to both Nicole and Alex for being named this year's Athletes of the Year. The final awards tonight are a brand new award this year. Our coaches have been discussing adding this award for years and we decided that this was the year to bring it about. It is the Panther Pride Senior Athlete Award. This award goes to a multi-sport athlete that has shown leadership, sportsmanship, character, and a strong desire for winning and a great overall attitude on and off the field, court, mat, pool, or track. This year's female recipient of this inaugural award goes to an athlete that competed at the highest level in both field hockey and soccer. She was a leader and a role model. Our Panther Pride Senior Female Award winner is Bailey Erickson. This year's male recipient was a three-sport athlete competing in football, wrestling, and baseball. He has a tremendous will to compete and loves playing sports. This year's male recipient is Joseph Abitago. Congratulations to Bailey and Joseph for being named the inaugural Senior Pride Athlete Award winners at Prospect. All six of these athletes will get a plaque and their names will be engraved on a perpetual trophy that will be displayed in the gym lobby. Again, congratulations to you all and we look forward to seeing your names and seeing you out on the fields or watching us play at some other time. Thank you for being an awesome Panther athlete. Thanks again. Latifa joined the Avid family her junior year and has become a quiet yet humble force in our rambunctious high energy class. 
She enjoys and excels at right brain activities, writing and painting, but she also puts her left brain to task in order to round out her studies for a solid GPA and class rank. Latifa exudes a sense of peace and tranquility that instills a calm in others. It is my absolute pleasure to present Latifa Ali with the 2019-2020 AVID Student of the Year Award for my class. Good job, Latifa. I'm honored to present this AVID Senior of the Year Award to Priscilla Cervantes. Priscilla has always shown her determination to do well, but her senior year has been exceptional. Priscilla works diligently and efficiently and is always motivated to do her best. Priscilla works hard to balance her strong academic performance with athletics and a job, and I'm pretty sure she makes time for her friends and family too. Priscilla, congratulations on an amazing senior year, and I wish you continued success. It is my honor to bestow the 2019-2020 AVID Student Achievement Award to Danielle Floria. Danielle is an active, energetic, and persistent young woman who has made use of the AVID program to help her achieve and maintain an impressive 3.5 GPA over the last four years. What strikes me about Danielle is her ability to easily communicate with anyone, and she definitely is not afraid to ask a question or speak her mind. Her positive attitude is infectious, and I know that she will be a great asset to San Jose State next year. Congratulations, Danielle. It is my honor to present this award for AVID Outstanding Four-Year Student to Bianca Pineda. Over the past four years, Bianca has embodied the individual determination that is key to AVID. The thing that has most impressed me about Bianca is she is continuously seeking to improve. She holds herself to high standards, but also understands that there is room for improvement. She is unafraid to ask questions, and she is fantastic at incorporating the feedback and advice that she receives. Bianca. It turns out you really are the MBP of our AVID class. Congratulations on your successes of the past four years, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for you. It is my honor to present the grand award for dance to Olivia Nolan and Megan McNamara. These two young women have been instrumental in creating a positive culture in our dance program. They have been inclusive leaders to everyone, from our freshmen who are new to Prospect, to our sales students, to even our most experienced dancers. They are not only beautiful dancers, but really bring a positive energy to the program and have stepped up to show their leadership in this program. So thank you and congratulations, Megan and Olivia. Hi, my name is Erin Hinshaw and I'm the AP Lit teacher here at Prospect. On behalf of the English department, we would like to recognize Rohini Banerjee and Casey Lay for excellence in English. Both students have had an incredible experience in AP Lit this year. Their inquisitiveness is exemplary and both are willing to ask the hard questions and seek and take feedback. Congratulations. It is my honor to award the grand award for English language development to our senior this year, Hawa Kote. Hawa is an inspiration to all of us. She has survived three pandemics and has survived the culture shock and the change of moving from Sierra Leone to the Silicon Valley in <clears throat> California and going to high school here. Not only that, but this year, Hawa is taking three different social science classes. This is impressive as a feat for any high school senior, let alone one who has learned English only in the past few years. Congratulations, Hawa. We are very proud of you. Hi, my name is Sharon Freeman. I'm the activities director and leadership teacher at Prospect. Every year, Prospect Leadership celebrates seniors that have been with the program for all four years of their high school career. This year, we're celebrating three seniors that have been with us since their freshman year. These three women define leadership. They are smart, strong, eloquent, and kind. They know how to command a room. They also know when to step back and shine a light on others. 
The Prospect Four-Year Leadership Award goes to Christine Hodak, Haley Garcia, and Parmas Magora. I am so excited to give the award for excellence in the field of mathematical wizardry to both you, Kyle and Bochuan. You guys are so amazing and you really do embody mathematical wizardry. I've never quite met students like, like you guys before. It's, it's really amazing how your brain just thinks about the math and how you visualize things and, and how the math just dances for you. And I'm so excited to see what you guys do in the future with all of this. It's, it's so much fun watching you guys play with this. And not only are you guys great in math, but you have been so instrumental for the success of math for so many other students at Prospect. You've given so much of your time and it's really gonna be a loss when you guys graduate. But it's also gonna be a big gain for the world. And I mean that, I really mean that. So I'm so excited and I'm, I mean, you guys made this a no brainer this year. It was, it was very easy to pick you guys. Um, and I want you to be ready because the next time I see you and we're allowed to do it, I'm gonna give both of you guys a big old hug. So congratulations again. I couldn't be more excited to give this award to both of you. This award recognizes musicianship and outstanding dedication for the band activity. Everyone knows the history of John Philip Sousa and the impact his music has made in the marching band style. I remember one of the first encounters with prospect students, and this student had already gone over equipment for the band, uh, over and even sorted out uniforms in hope that Prospect High School would have a marching band in the future. She worked so hard and made sure that band had a and pep band were a success. I am so taken by the student's passion for band without even being in band. She ended up being a great drum major and the first drum major award at Prospect High School in a long time. The Sousa Award goes to Erna Butler. This student has shown excellence in musicianship and high contribution to the orchestra ensembles. From taking part in outside school opportunities, such as playing at our outside uh, concert, side-by-side -side concert at the beginning of the year, while busy with her academics and tennis schedule, always found a time to fit music in her schedule, to show dedicated commitment to the program and relentless courage for playing. I am pleased to present the National Orchestra Award to Nicole Obradovic. This award recognizes an outstanding senior in jazz. In addition to the criteria, the recipient of this award has also a thorough understanding of the jazz idiom in an outstanding performer and is an ambassador for the jazz genre. This student has gone above and beyond, even when our students got busy during the end of the fall season and things get difficult, uh, this student always showed up and never had an excuse, always performed when it was time to play and show dedication and passion uh, for the program by being the first one to commit and participate. The student even signed up for symphonic band in addition to the wind ensemble class to help the new students and never ever asked not to play or be an excuse from the class for any other commitments. I truly admire the student's diligence and commitment to the program. I am pleased to announce the Louis Armstrong Award to Jordan Johnson. I am proud to award Ellis Matthews the Social Science Department Award. I wish we could all attend the Grand Awards in person so we could celebrate the talents and gifts of Alice. I met Alice her sophomore year of high school when she was enrolled in my world history course. Even then, I was remarked by her interest in world studies and global affairs. I was encouraged by her desire to challenge herself in her junior year by enrolling in APUSH and continuing on the path with AP US government and politics. This year, she was my aide, and during this time, I got to know her a little more. In the past three years, I have learned more about Alice and her interests, including learning foreign languages, traveling, and K-pop. During our talks, Alice would question my like of BTS, as I would question her desire to attend KCON Los Angeles, a celebration of Korean culture and music. All jokes aside, Alice is a very empathetic and open-minded young woman. During her high school career, she has been volunteering at the library and helping her parents take care of a younger sibling. 
I know it was hard for her to decide to apply to schools in Southern California and out of state as she wanted to help around the house, but she decided that it would be best for her family and her family's future to explore the world and come back to help them financially after graduating and getting a job. In the fall, Alice will be attending UC Riverside majoring in business. I know she is really looking forward to all the opportunities that will be offered to her in college. She has plans to study abroad, continue learning foreign languages, and expanding her understanding of the world. I know she will be successful in her endeavors because of her ability to challenge herself and work through any obstacles. Congratulations, Alice. We will miss you. I am proud to award Bianca this Social Science Department Award. I've had the pleasure of being her government and economics teacher her senior year. In class, Bianca is kind, patient, and helpful towards her classmates. She routinely took on leadership roles and served as a role model in both her learning and attitude. She has never been afraid to orient her group or table mates towards a goal and help them complete it. Throughout the year, Bianca routinely rose to meet new challenges. She always sought out advice on her work and where she could improve or how she could continue to do well when faced with new scenarios. Bianca was never afraid to ask questions, even just to clarify. She made sure to seek out answers rather than wait to see if they arrived. Bianca has shown me that she always wants to know things and better understand why things are the way they are. That's why I am proud to award Bianca this Social Science Department Award. Hi everyone, my name is Ms. D. Faraon Bueller. I'm a physics teacher at Prospect High School. I was asked to present the science awards for this year, and what comes into mind is a famous quote of Charles Dickens. It is the best of times, it is the worst of times. It is the best of times because we never had so many outstanding and deserving candidates. And yet it is the worst of times because I'm not giving the award personally. This year's science award goes to two students who were chosen not just for their excellent academic performance, but more so for their passion and commitment in advocating for science classes. They tirelessly tutor a lot of students during MESA and AP Ambassador meetings. They promoted science classes to all parents and students during AP Info Nights. It is my pleasure and my honor to present the 2020 Science Awards to Ruhini Banerjee and Bo Chuan Zhang. Congratulations, Ruhini and Bo Chuan, and thank you for your hard work and service to Prospect Community. You are truly deserving of this award, and remember, the best is yet to come. Hello. My name is Kurt Meeker, and I'll be awarding the Theater Arts Awards today. Theater is a uniquely collaborative art form, and it requires all the people who are participating in it to work together. It's very much an ensemble creation, and it's difficult to single people out for individual awards, especially this year when we have so many incredibly talented seniors graduating. It does, however, give me great pleasure to give the Theater Arts Awards to the following students. The first award will go to Trevor Williams, and Trevor has been involved in plays and working as a director and a collaborator in all of our Theater Arts productions for the last four years. He's been involved in everything from acting to directing to uh, being the president of the drama club to just being a general incredibly kind and uh, supportive cast member and collaborator with all of our productions. Trevor uh, will be going on next fall to study performance and theater arts at USC where he also will be apparently uh, on the rowing team, I understand. Also, I would like to award uh, the Theater Arts Award to Nathan Angelo. Nathan came to us a little bit later than some of the students, but burst onto the scene in a major way and has thrown himself into every performance he's ever done with complete commitment. And he's one of the hardest working students I've ever had the great pleasure to work with. Nathan will be going on next fall to study theater at Montclair University in New Jersey, 
where he will be just a stone, a stone's throw away from Broadway. The final senior I would like to acknowledge today is in the area of technical theater. And I would like to recognize Haley Garcia, who has been our stage manager for the last four years for almost every production that we've done. Stage management is a remarkably difficult and undersung area of theater arts. The stage manager keeps everything together and when calling a show makes everybody else on stage look good, uh, including the technical theater uh, participants who are running sound and lights and making all the shifts happen backstage. All of that, all of it runs through the stage manager and Haley has been an incredibly competent and efficient stage manager and everything she has done has been at a really, really high level and one of the best stage managers I've ever had a, the opportunity to work with, especially at the high school level. So congratulations to Haley and to Trevor and to Nathan. They will all be very successful theater artists and it's been my great joy to have worked with all of them. Thank you. Bonjour, this is Madame Kim, and I have two French awards I would like to present to two of my graduating seniors for excellence in French. They are Teresa Perrault, or as I say, Therese Perrault, and also Nishka Goville. Uh, they both completed French 4 and attended French camp where they had to speak French for the entire weekend. They were both honor society members, and they got extra oral practice and as a result they improved their French accents and they were also peer tutors and they had been doing this since their sophomore year so I'm very happy to present them a certificate and they will also be getting a medal that they can wear at graduation so I want to congratulate both of you. Félicitations! Congratulations for the Senior Award! The best moment of the your learning was a CLTA, the speech contest. We all were proud of you that you won the first prize. Woohoo! This is just for your new launching. For sure, your dream job. I loved your smile and a positive the learning attitude. I am proud of the all you have achieved. You have so much language talent. You have earned your success and stand out for your future. Enjoy your summer before you go to college, Miss Tong. Thank you for joining us tonight for the Class of 2020 Grand Awards and congratulations to all the recipients. Our next celebration of the Class of 2020 will be the live stream commencement premiering Friday, June 12th at 6 p.m.